it's now around 5.45 here in Ho Chi Minh City. And so that means schools and work is all finished. Now the streets are being filled up with uh, street vendors selling street food. So within like 15 minutes, around 6 o'clock, yeah, on the streets there will be so much food being sold over there. And yeah, and I'm going to be joining them today. So today I'm just going to go on a little mini food tour of the area I'm staying in right now in District 1. It's next to District 2 and District 3, just around the border. So I'm just going to go there just to see what kind of food they have to sell. So, but I'm going to start my day or my night with some milk tea with some bubbles inside I'm not too sure if you can see it so then I've got all of this it cost 20 Yemenis dump it's a large as well so it's really worth it so I'm gonna start my night with this then after that we're gonna go and try some different food that they have to offer here in the street so let's get the day started Spicy, I don't want spicy. It is hot. I think it's seafood in here. No t shirt. <laughs> Um, it's actually more than I asked for to have a treat because they actually came with this extra 
I think it's like a rice pudding, but I'm not too sure. Let me smell it. <laughs> I have not too sure because I was thinking, let me just get something simple and move around and try a bit of everything around this area that I'm staying in. And there's all that, the location that I'm in right now, I'll put it all in the description box. Maybe at the bottom here, every restaurant I'm in. So if you're ever in Ho Chi Minh, you can come try it. So let me try some of this. I don't know if it's rice pudding. I literally have no idea. And like I keep saying, here in Vietnam, that English is not spoken widely. So I just told the guy, just bring me whatever. So I don't even know what I'll be eating today. So let's just try this first. See what it is. It is rice pudding as well. There's literally no seasoning inside. Because like, sometimes when you make rice, you put some soap and oil, like coconut oil or something like that. But here, yeah, it just tastes completely plain. Let me try one more time. It's hot. I don't know if you meant to put some seasoning inside or flavoring up a little bit, but yeah, I don't even know if it's right pudding, tell the truth, but, but I think it is. I think you want to add some flavor into it because it tastes really plain, really bland. And this here. The main thing that I saw them cooking, I think it's seafood inside, but I'm, I'm not too sure. Now, squid, I think it's squid. It's steaming hot, like you can see the steam popping out of it. Let me try. Hope it's not too hot. tonight then <laughs> yeah because one of my friends I sent a video to one of my friends and she was like is that frog I was like no it's seafood but yeah it is frog <laughs> tastes like chicken I'm being totally honest like, it tastes completely like chicken Wait, let me just message my friend say you're correct it was frog I'm trying to see how the local seeds here because some of them they have the baguette with them as well Give me a drink as well. Is that iced tea? Yeah, just normal iced tea. But the frog, quite fascinating. Wow. It's so bony. There's so many bones. Wow. I feel like there's more bones than there is meat. 
the side. <laughs> It's so sunny. It tastes good. So good. Flavor food. If you want a dinner, just eat some peace. Then I'll see you at the next shop. Because this one here, like, every time I'm riding past um, during the evening, trying to go back home, it's always stacked to people. So I guess it must be like a special place. Like. <laughs> but when I do my research, I'll probably find that it's been open for like 50 years or 150 years or something. But yeah. So it's for the people here. Save you on my city like I'm Luke Cage. This is real life, you're balling 2K. I was just a young count, lose change. Now I got it coming 22 ways. 12 12s on me, no flu game. Same team with a new. I think what you're actually meant to do is get this ball here. And I think stack it up with some of the. So as you're eating, you just bring it up to your face instead of being really close to it. So yeah, it is easier. Sitting in this position, you definitely develop a hunchback. Because you're always cr and crouching, it feels like. So I managed to eat the whole frog, all of it that they gave me. Yeah, it's really nice, but the rice pudding, I'm not too sure. It was really for me. And the drink as well, the iced tea. <clears throat> I feel like both of them, there was not really too flavorful. But I ate everything else, it's okay. Let me get the bill now. So all of it came up to 75k. Uh, let me see if I've got it. This is 60 and 5. 5? Okay, uh, thank you. It's set on the money right there, 75k. So now, time to head off to another place to try something else. So just down the road from where I was, there's another place as well. I'm not too sure what they're serving here, but it looks good. I'll buy something. Uh... Sorry, can I sit here? Yes. Okay. And how much for one of this? Thirty-five. For one thirty-five. Yeah. yeah. And what else do you sell? You sell sausage as well. Uh -huh. uh, let me get menu. Okay, thank you. This is the menu that they just gave me. Um, I'm not too sure if you can see. But yeah, this is all the price for everything. Uh, tube rice, uh, pork, grilled pork, mop in Thailand. And some crew fish as well. Yeah. Let me see what else they have. Oh. I've ordered um, one of the rice, the sticky rice that comes inside the tube. I ordered the uh, orange one and two of this pork stew.
if this was in the UK of a, of a sitting, uh, people sitting here would be sorry is it, are you alright? Yeah. if this was in the UK it would have been empty here and across you know, inside KFC it would have been so busy but it's, it feels that like here's the opposite where KFC is pretty empty but you see everyone here like it's quite busy and even inside as well heard me because I asked for the orange one, the orange one, but it's okay, it's all the same. Yeah, <clears throat> this is part of the Vietnamese culture where in the evening they bring out just a bunch of chairs to just sit on the middle of the street. <laughs> yeah, so if, if a person walking by, you have to walk on the road. So let me try some of this. Tastes so good, so fresh. With some of the bamboo sticky rice that came from the tube. Sorry, how much is that? Um, 55. Yeah. Okay. Thank you to him? Oh, yeah. Give me. Okay. Thank you. 
Uh, thank you so much. Thank you. 55 or? 95. Oh, 95. Okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's all done. So this one, 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 yeah, and this one. Eighty. Okay, eighty thousand. The guy said he's doing the Google Translate and he said for one of the crab legs it's like 80k 70 80 80 70,000 for one one um, no this I just want one yeah it's just one uh, oh yeah, I'll get back to you guys one sec. Oh, you saw. You saw. It's not, um, not possible. Wait, guys, I'll get back to you guys. So, this one here, 80k, I'm just gonna have. Yes, yes, please. Yeah, yeah. For 80k, I'll just have this one. <clears throat> I was standing next to the fire, it's burning hot. Good luck. So I'll try and alternate one of the girls that work in there. 